When I was being condemned from the four corners of the earth, I had a moment. I had a moment where I wanted to kill myself and was ready. What kept me It's not a scripture What kept me Is that every time I showed up here You were here I would not take my life for the one mere reason my family loved me and my church loved me and regardless of what anybody said love lifted me and carried me And you didn't judge me. And I, I don't think there are others, there's, there are folk here who know what I mean, that you're alive because somebody loves you. They didn't give you a sermon. They didn't question you. They didn't call you before counsel. When I, when I look back over my life and I think about this scripture for God so loved the world didn't say he so judged the world and he said by this you will know that they are my disciples that they have love for one another there is no greater power than the power of love. And I honor you as a congregation and as a people that what sustains you through any storm is the real committed love that runs from heart to heart and breath to breath, I thank you. And I want to release that love that you showered on me and my family over this whole congregation. That whatever hard place you might find yourself in, I release the liberating power of the Almighty God. We've been called to love. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I challenge every saint, because somebody's going to put this on YouTube or whatever. 
We have no right and no justification to kill one another on social media, especially when you don't know. And if we're really going to be a saint, if we're really going to move into things God has, let's love one another. Let's show the world that we are different and we are a people of God. So, Father God, we honor you, we bless you, and we thank you for so loving us that you gave. and yet being made more alive from the gift of your son that you would have more sons and daughters heal hearts in this place right now touch hallelujah